this series of paintings all kind of, it's called my shadow play generation of paintings and they all kind of stemmed from one painting that I made. And so they all kind of start off as that basic painting and then as I paint through them, they kind of change. Um, and it's all started with actually when I was in doing my undergrad in Guelph, um, we learned a lot about art history and paintings and art history and throughout and, but being in Guelph, Ontario, you don't really have that kind of um, experience of artwork that you would in a bigger city. So it was kind of, we learned about paintings in textbooks and on the internet and through images. So it wasn't really our, we didn't really have that relationship to painting um, in that physical way, like of a physical painting. It was just kind of our relationship to images. Um, and that kind of really interested me because when I was studying for art history exams, I would print off images on my printer, which was not very expensive and kind of running low on ink. And it would do these weird um, like kind of lines through the images and like there'd be misinformation and kind of wonky colors. And so it changed the complete look of the painting and kind of it was just kind of reiterating the fact that our relationship to paintings through technology is so different than an actual painting. So I kind of wanted to take that idea and then turn those images back into paintings. And so I kind of used conventions of technology so that kind of the ability to print something 14 different times and have it look different every time. Um, so I started painting this one image of um, a geometric abstract kind of painting and then I would paint the same thing seven different times and every time I paint it, it's kind of impossible to get the same effect. Even if I'm repeating the same painting, it looks different every single time. So kind of that interest in repetition and how there really is no such thing as repetition, it's just only variation. And uh, yeah, so, and also another really important thing to my work is the relationship it does have to art history still because of the geometric abstraction, it's, it's been in art history for a while, like from Bridget Riley, um, Frank Stella, um, Peter Haley, and uh, just throughout art history. And it's kind of, my paintings are repeating themselves, but they're also repeating art history. And it's kind of just the variation through both of those things um, in continuing to paint them every, every time. So that's kind of what this series is all about.